Hello. Hi. So I am uh, uh, Rika Gupta. I am from Argonne National Lab. And I'm going to use the two minutes today to talk about the Ideas Project. Uh, as some of you are aware of, uh, there's a big initiative in the United States uh, which is called as the U.S. <coughs> Department of Energy Exascale Computing Project. The um, charter of this, uh, of this initiative is to develop software for the next generation of supercomputers. And there are about 80 application software uh, that are covered under this initiative. Now we all know that you know, software sustainability, productivity is an afterthought, especially in the scientific computing. And keeping in mind, keeping that in mind, the IDS project was created. So the goal of our project is to uh, uh, essentially focus on the exascale computing uh, application software and, uh, under that initiative and to address issues related, related to uh, productivity and sustainability. So how do we do that? Uh, basically, as I said, the AT odd teams uh, under the initiative, and we basically interview these different application teams, different software teams, try to understand their cross-cutting challenges, identify uh, areas for uh, uh, improvement, uh, and uh, then once we have uh, focus areas for improvements, we create action plans called PCIPs, and I think Reed touched upon that yesterday. Uh, and once we create PCIPs and action plans, we uh, work on them, and try to execute them. A big part of our, uh, uh, of our project is outreach. So based on our experiences, our interviews with the application teams, we create user stories. An example user story could be, um, I'm a team lead, my uh, team member is leaving, how do I retain that information? How do I retain the data or information that he has? So what we would do in that case is we would have webinars, we would uh, set up processes in place, we would disseminate information about what a uh, team lead can do right from the start to take care of such a situation and we would make this available to the rest of the scientific computing. BSSW.io, that is the website one should go to and if you are interested, I would love to talk to each one of you before the workshop ends. Thank you.